Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Sharika, from SVG On Demand. Today, I will be doing another video for you guys, showing you how to work with your scroll template that we now have available on the website. All right, guys. So now I have opened up my Silhouette Cameo software. I have brought in my file from the website, and this is what it looks like here. You have this one big file that's all grouped together. Okay, all we're going to do is right click on it and ungroup it. And now we have three individual scrolls that we can work with. We're going to move these two to the side and work with each one of them individual. The purpose of this video is to more show you how to insert your image into the scroll. For a mock up video or print and cut video, please see some of our other videos that we have already available on our YouTube page. Now I'm going to take this and ungroup it. And now I have all these different pieces that I'm able to use. And for each scroll that you have, each of the gray pieces on the scroll is the piece that you can use to insert your image. Okay, and we have made them all gray to be easily to identify for you guys. And we will take it from there. I'm gonna move these other two pictures over for the moment and let's work with this one first. I'm just gonna resize it, make it a little bit larger. I'm gonna take my gray piece here and bring it over. This is behind my image, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna let go and I'm gonna select the image and I'm going to send it to back. Now I have the scroll piece on top of the image. I can reposition it, resize it. I need to always make sure that my scroll piece is on the image. If it's off the image, that's not gonna work. It needs to always be on the image. Okay. I'm gonna grab both pieces now, and I'm just gonna go object, modify, crop, and voila, my image is now inside of my scroll. And if these were the colors I wanted to use, I'd be ready for print and cut. If not, I can rearrange my colors and change and add text or anything that I would like to do. I can remove this if I don't want it. I can ungroup it and change the colors of it if I would like. I can add text to it. I can choose the exact color red that's in his shirt to change the color by using my dropper tool. Okay. This red piece here, all these pieces are interchangeable where you can change them to the color that you would like. This green piece in the back of all three scrolls identify as your cardstock. So this would actually be your piece that you cut with cardstock to put on the back of your fan. If you aren't creating a fan and you're using these symbols to make a print and cut, you can choose whatever color you like to change that back color to and to continue your design. Don't forget about your field gradients that you can use over here also. It can give you a more sleek look. Hmm? It is totally up to you. Okay, there's one. Just gonna group it together. And there's one. Let's take the next one. We can ungroup it also. Let's grab another image here. Bring it over. Send the image to the back. And resize it. Grab both pieces, object, modify, crop. All 
There we go. So I can change this outer layer to whatever color I like once again. Ooh. We'll grab the brown and his bow tie if I would like. Even the paper on the scroll, I can change if I like. And I can add any type of wordage that I would like also. All right, that's fan number two. Let's take number three here. Once again, we're just ungrouping it. Let's zoom out and find our third picture. Here we go. I'm going to take the gray piece here, bring it over, send the image to the back once again. Grab both pieces, object, modify, crop. And voila. There we go. Let's see. What's the last picture I'm holding? Oh, the popsicle stick. Let's do this really quick. I'm going to duplicate this and ungroup it just so I can use this piece of picture here to show you something really quick. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to grab this red piece. I only want this piece here. So I'm just gonna bring it back. Send the image to the back. And I would just have to put this piece back in. Group them all together. Now I have one piece. Like I said, you can use this for a t-shirt. You can use this for your fans. I also brought a Google image of one of the sticks over to go over really quick how to make you a quick mock-up. We're going to pop over our trace, select area to trace. We're going to trace our popsicle stick, bring the threshold up, trace and detach, get rid of that. Now we have our little cute stick that we can put here, bring the image to the front. And to be able to show our customers what their fan would look like. And that's it, guys. I so hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy tutorials like this and you love SVG on the Man family, please check out our subscription group where you get weekly classes and homework and files and things like that to go along with it. This file was actually free for our master class. This was the class that we did last week and went over these for them in the master class. So please check it out. The link will be in the description. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and check us out on Facebook. Also, have a wonderful day, guys, and we will talk to you later.